Here's the machine. I've got it plugged into a standard 220 socket that it's like 40 amp is what I've got it set up for, but you got to you got to give it some power. This is the phase converter. And what you do first is push the little green button right here and that will run it up to 60. When it hits 60 and, and holds, that's uh, saying that you've got your three phase power. The controls work like this. These are your hand controls. You can run it uh, by hand. These are your power controls. This one here, this is hold in place. That's for your front to back. This is advance one step each time the, uh, the carriage makes a, a move. This is just keep, uh, keep moving back and forth. Uh, this, this here is your left to right speed. So that's the speed for moving the carriage back and forth underneath the, uh, the wheel. The wheel has a diamond uh, uh, attached to it. And I'm also going to go ahead and include this one. This is a real nice uh, wheel dresser. Uh, and it's got a decent diamond on it, on it, so it'll uh, it'll still dress your wheels, and it'll dress it any way you like it. Uh, this machine can be set up for use with uh, water. It just isn't at this point. However, there is a water drip function that you can just add water there, and it'll drip down as well. Um, this is your manual up and down. These are your power controls. The one that doesn't work that we talked about is the speed up and down. That doesn't work. You have to lift that by, by cranking your wheel up and down here. And as I said, it moves it at a, at a decent rate of speed. So that's not a big issue. We're up to 60 here. We can go ahead and power the machine on. So what I'm going to do is turn the wheel on first. Uh, that's going to be this one here. You can hear it run up. That's full speed, no noise. Then we're going to turn on the power to the uh, hydraulic traverse. That's right here. And because I had the speed up already, it's going ahead and running. Then I'll just go ahead and move this one to the full forward and back motion. And these are your set stops for your forward to back. These are your set stops for your left to right. It trips a switch and just reverses the direction. Like that. If you change this to one With every time the uh, thing traverses, it'll do it one step at a time. Like that. There it is again. There it is again. This is the hold right there. So that'll hold it in place while it grinds back and forth. Again, you're up and down. This is your advance, the... the uh, Auto Advance works on the wheel here. The power up and down doesn't work. That's what I was telling you about. Um, what else to tell you? To put the wheel in, you just go ahead and uh, stop, your, stop your traverse. Put your wheel in. Well, I guess I got to stop this first. I don't know. I never use these damn things. At any rate, the wheel is pulled out so that it can't... There we go. It takes two hands. The wheel's pulled out. You pull this pin out and the wheel gets pulled out so it doesn't hit you in the crotch while you're working it. There's the traverse that way. And then here's the traverse this uh, front to back. And you can change that incrementally. This is your speeds for your up and down. How fast it goes, it's marked out incrementally as well. If you're going to run this thing with hydraulic left to right, pull that out, pull this wheel out so it doesn't hit you in the Johnson while you're doing your thing. 
Uh, this is your one shot oiler. All you do is give it a, a pull all the way down and let it go. And that's one cycle of oil that oils the ways and all that stuff. If you oil it too much, you'll wind up with a little oil on the floor or running down the door. Um, are there hydraulic leaks on this thing? There's no hydraulic leaks that stop it from functioning. There's probably some dribblies here and there. I'm not going to say there ain't, and I don't remember if there was. Um, there probably is a, a, little, a little seep leak here and there on this machine. I haven't run it in a, over a year. This is your drive motor. The motor for the uh, lift is up underneath the power lift, and that's still in there. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down and let you hear the, the, the spin down uh, so you can hear the bearings. I do not have the mag chuck for this machine. Uh, if you have any questions, need another video, let me know. I can hook you up with another. Whatever you need. A little difficult to get around the shop here today with the chicks in here. At any rate, that's what we got, man.